One person wounded. A few small injuries. Only got $62,000. That's not even as much as, like, a regular Corvette. That's ridiculous. Uh, see, killed 13 aliens, lost no one. I like it. Got an alien base data core and an alien communication array. Well, sadly, we once again lost Central America. On the plus side, we actually got quite a bit more funding. Uh, have to watch for North America. That's our biggest problem area right now. Soviet Union should be okay. Europe, eh, they're getting a little low. I guess Australasia is still low, but we did good last month, so. And now we have some money. Uh, are we researching? We are researching the strike. I think I will build a couple wolf battle armors. And hopefully the strike will be done by then. Still no strike. Um, do I want to make any more laser weapons? I mean, we've got everything we pretty much need. Yeah, I don't think we need any more. It just sucks if we end up losing them. There we go. And I think... I think I want to go with the Corsairs. I might need to build another, uh, another research lab. five days, that's not terrible. And I believe that it said the research is shared across all all bases, so we would need a lab and a living quarters. And we get a medium ship down there. I'll go ahead and launch the ones from this base too. That we really need to get the Corsairs out. Fighters. Once we get to the heavy fighters, they're going to be very, very difficult to kill the Condors. And I wish that these fighters were not trailing my Foxtrots and outrunning the Condors, of course. Should have saved a couple, just in case, but it well. Alright, so... We're still loaded out quite well. the two heavy weapons. It was the assault that didn't have the laser shotgun. How bad is the wolf armor? Eh, its weight's pretty 
pretty high, but that's not too bad. This person won't even come close to using the wolf armor right now. Right. Once we destroy these fighters, if are you serious? They have no fuel. Oh well, shouldn't be too much of an issue. thinking I needed to intercept it way earlier. That actually would have been perfect when it was. I think we're going to end up with a night mission. Uh, you know what? I don't want to do a night mission. You're going to return to base, and you're going to take an airstrike. Especially since we almost have the strike. Probably ought to hire a few more soldiers. High time units. Oh, you're nice. Though, no accuracy. Good accuracy. Right. And the Corsair. That's nice. I think we need to start going for the plasma weaponry. Alrighty. Bye bye, Charlie. Was it was it eight people or ten people on the strike can have? Or Yeah, ten people. I was thinking ten or twelve. Alright, so this gives us our normal loadout. What do we want to put on there? I'm thinking hmm, thinking another sniper. And another assault. Hopefully, somebody with good strength and good timing. Though so I didn't really have good strength and good timing, so I guess this one will have to be the assault. I was gonna have him be the sniper. This can be the sniper.
So I guess I completely forgot about weapons for the additional troops that we would have. Let's go ahead and make a precision laser. And another medium ship over in Australia. Ooh, it's a landing ship. Hopefully we can down this landing ship. I would like to assault that. Is he in range of my Middle Eastern base? Not really. Hopefully he comes back over land. Really? Come on. Thank you. A little further. Excellent. something alright let's not mess up the very very simple math of the estimated time of arrival it's 10 hours and 15 minutes not gonna make it so waiting until night and then I'm going to go stuff. That's not very nice. Don't really like...
like that the, the condor drew the fire of the bomber. That's pretty good. Oh, one's going to die. Months off to a pretty decent start. Uh, let's have him go a little farther out. Alrighty, ten hours probably be fine right about now. Strike. How hard would that be? Two hundred thousand. Let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty. This should be easy now that we have ten soldiers. Posting some people up on that. You know, I don't think I've ever tried to sit somebody on top of the strike. I guess you can't. Though so I would like to see what's going on. And there's a case on. I think we'll get a machine gun and a sniper up in that barn. It's not the best place, but it's really the only elevated place to fire from that I've seen. Oh, they can't just fly in. I guess they can perch up there.
That actually should be a really good spot as long as nobody's close enough to actually shoot at them. Not a way in there. I guess I'd have to blow up from one of the the windows. Shouldn't be necessary. I've also never tried standing on the hay bales. <laughs> Doesn't look like that would work. But this should be Ah, oh, not quite enough time units. gone down first. <laughs> Fortunately no reflex fire. Uh, now we want you down near the end because you can't jump over the fence. And we want you going up this way. as well post you on the roof of the barn as well. Ooh, that's not good. What the heck was that? Did he hit his own guy? really, really need to be more careful of that guy. I believe that was my commander. <laughs> it was. Well, you are absolutely going to pay for that. I thought that was a plasma bolt. Guess they shot their own guy. And he is going to pay for that one. Ah, oh, really? I was just curious. It didn't look like it should block that. That's actually a really nice spot to shoot into the entrance of the landing ship. So definitely don't want to leave him floating. people up here. No one in range to fire at them. 